Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my vlog. I have taken a minute off of filming any YouTube videos and not really intentionally. I have just been so busy so it feels kind of good to get back into a routine. I actually filmed a vlog like two weekends ago for Memorial Day and still have not uploaded it. Um, I started editing it last night and I fell asleep while editing it so hopefully I'll get that up soon. I don't even know why I'm ranting right now. My name is Claire if you are new and today I'm gonna be bringing you, actually not even today, I'm gonna bring you a Along in the next couple of days of my life. Um, I really love doing these vlogs because it feels like I have someone to talk to as I am working from home, which is what I'm going to be doing. So today I believe is Wednesday and it's a very exciting day because Loki comes out on Disney Plus and I am like a little Marvel nerd lately. Not even lately, like I've always loved Marvel, but I have been more excited about Loki than I have any other series that Disney has done. I love Loki. He is my favorite villain or whatever you want to call him. So anyway, I woke up this morning, went to the gym, came back, took my dog on a walk, and I'm about to go take a shower because I really stink. Also, I will be working from home today, so I think I just introduced myself. My name's Claire. I live in Lower Alabama. I work for Shipped, which is out of Birmingham, Alabama. We'll be moving there soon, so make sure to subscribe because we're gonna have moving vlogs and things. Kind of been like off of my routine lately. I've been traveling and stuff. Well, not even traveling. Well, actually, yes, I have been traveling. Um, I went to Cabo. I went to Auburn. I went to Birmingham last weekend. Um, I've just been all over the place and so it feels good to kind of have a couple weeks um, to where I can get back into it into a routine I'm a big routine person also super random but I mentioned I went to Birmingham last weekend and I did not know they have a Fabletics store and y'all I have so many credits built up so I wanted to show y'all a couple of the outfits I got um, I got this set which I have been eyeing on the site for a minute the thing about me is I don't have the confidence to just wear a sports bra and like bike shorts or leggings to the gym so if you have any like suggestions on like good I guess like a white tank top or like a white tee like a loose thin tee or something would do um but this set is so cute it actually is really like the softest material ever it's like a seamless fabric which normally like I used to have some from pink and the material not gonna lie was a little bit itchy but this is just like so soft um and then this is the sports bra but hopefully I will get the confidence to like just wear these um but super duper cute and then I also got this um I have been wanting brown leggings for since like fall of last year and I finally found some um, from there and they're so soft and comfortable um, I'm trying to see like which kind these are these are the Oasis um, high-waisted pocket 7-8 length um, they're a pure luxe legging but I feel like these will be just like such a good staple to have, especially in the fall. And when you go to Fabletics, don't use your credits to buy like one thing. Make sure to ask them or like look on the site and go to the outfits. Because basically you can get like two things for one credit rather than just getting these for one credit. Um, so this was what came with it. Um, they had a couple different colors of tank tops. This is like a peachy pink color. Not super crazy about it, but I do like the open sleeve look. Um, but yeah, it's just like a really long oversized tank top i got it in a large honestly probably should have got a medium because it is super oversized sorry i look so rough but if you watch my vlogs or if you know me i haven't gone to the gym like once or twice a day lately i don't know what's been in me i have just been so inspired um and i wear like the same exact things over and over and over again which doesn't matter but it kind of is like motivating when you get like a new cute workout outfit this is another thing i got the other day i got it from target i always love their wild fable dresses and i thought this one was so cute cute for summer um it looks like I don't know it's just like the perfect little summer dress and it's like 20 or 25 dollars I think let me see 25 which is not bad but the thing about these dresses you do have to be careful when you wash them and dry them because they will shrink like I've had so many dresses from Target that are like this material that's like the super soft material that will shrink so you got to be careful but I thought this was just like adorable ignore the fact that my bed is not made I'm probably going to be working from there a lot today um I have some meetings but like also I kind of just want to be comfy and watch some Loki it has been a minute it's already 11 41 just wanted to give y'all an update um I'm at my computer I'm um, doing some like busy work ignore like all of this I still have to clean my desk but I've been listening to um, what I was showing you the office ladies podcast um, literally my favorite ever 
Also, I have been rewatching The Kardashians, keeping up with The Kardashians, um, currently on season three. I don't know what this is. Um, on Halo, it has just brought me a lot of joy lately. Also, I've already had some lunch. I had some leftovers from last night. Um, I really want to make some coffee. I need to clean my Nespresso machine. This sounds really gross, but I've never actually cleaned it before. Apparently, you're supposed to, like, there's a cleanser that you can use to, like, run through the machine. Um, and I didn't even know that was a thing. So, I need to do that. Um, because I was just, like, thinking about it. And I was like, this thing is probably, like, really gross because I've had it for, like, a year now. But I'm debating on whether or not to go get some coffee. I just feel like I need, like, a pick-me-up. But we've been doing, like, weekly steak fajitas. And and like homemade steak fajitas I guess and putting them on the grill and so I also need to go get some steak from the grocery store for that in a little while so I might take like a little like lunch break because I was kind of just like eating while I was doing some work um so in a little bit we might go get some coffee and run to public so it is like two o'clock now um I just took a little break I have been so tired and my eyes are just like I don't know what's wrong with them like they want to close <laughs> but I was so sleepy so I ran to Publix and got some steak for tonight and then I also saw my Starbucks and got just an iced latte which I haven't had like an iced latte from Starbucks in forever normally I get the shaken espresso so good much needed just wanted to do like a little fill in with you guys um I still have not watched Loki my plan was to watch it before work this morning, but I think I'm actually gonna wait until tonight and get like all cozy in my bed and stuff and watch it. It's looking a little rough, but right now it's a little bit after five and I decided I'm going back to the gym to do like my little 12, 3, 30 workout. I've talked about it before. So instead of 12, 3, 30, I like break it up into five minute segments and I start off like 12, 3 and then I go 12, 3.5. Then I go 15, 3 and then I repeat it all. So I do each of those for five minutes twice, um, if that made sense. I also like bloated right now I had a lot of food today um, I had a lot of leftovers when I said I had leftovers earlier like I just ate so much to where I just feel so full um, and like kind of just I don't know I feel like really puffy this week okay guys I'm outside of Planet Fitness I'm just finishing I stayed in there like a little bit over an hour um, I mostly did like a lot of cardio got all my 10,000 steps in for the day but I thought I would share my gym essentials since I do go every day there are some things that I literally cannot go without um, so I'm gonna share those. Number one, my favorite part of the day literally is my drive in the morning to the gym and I sip on my Spark. I like the fruit punch kind and then I drink it in this little blender bottle. This is from the Dollar Isle at Target. I've had it for forever. Also another essential, my AirPod Pros. Um, I've never had regular AirPods, but I've heard that the Pros are like significantly better and they do a lot of sales at Target. I know a lot of the time with them. So if you're in the market like thinking about getting a pair of Pros, I would get them because literally you can not hear anything when you have these in like nothing around you another essential is this gum in particular I just got a new pack today when I went to the grocery store the extra um, peppermint is my absolute favorite I used to never use scrunchies but now I'm like 1000% a scrunchie girl to me like the actual rubber bands like pull my hair and give me a headache and scrunchies like since my hair is longer make it so much easier um, another thing that's an essential for me is this body mist I left this in my car the other day normally I keep this in my bathroom this is the mix bar from Target I believe it's like eight or twelve dollars it's the coconut palm it's a hair and body mist and it smells so good it's like coconut vanilla vibes um, and it's one of those that like I don't think would get on someone's nerves you wearing but it kind of just keeps you not smelling bad you know what I mean so I spritz that all over before I go to the gym okay I'm trying to make it focus but another essential is this lanyage lanyage uh glip glowy balm it's I think like twenty dollars totally worth the money guys um it's been around for like a couple years now maybe more than that um it's berry and it makes your lips look glossy but makes them feel like just so hydrated and I just keep this in my car and put it on every time I go in the gym okay so my mom's outside um mowing the grass and Daisy's in here playing with her baby um, and we're also having steak fajitas tonight. Um, we've been putting corn in them and it like changes the entire game. Um, I think my mom just has everything like laid out. Let's see, I ate so much food today, but I'm so hungry. Um, I'm actually, I have some more work stuff I need to finish up tonight, but guys, we're about to start Loki. So excited. Um, I think Owen Wilson is a very random person to be in this, but I'm so excited. He's literally my favorite, like, villain dude. Um, gonna nerd out for a little bit. 
Y'all, it is somehow already 10 o'clock, and I have been sitting here at my desk um, doing some random work, like getting ahead for tomorrow, um, and catching up on some things that I just needed to get done. And I watched Loki earlier. So good. I think I'm most excited about this series, even more than WandaVision um, and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, I just feel like Loki is going to be the best one. Um, anyway, I'm currently watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I think I mentioned that I'm rewatching it. I just watched Chloe and Lamar's Wedding. Still just makes me sad um how everything ended up with them you know like they had so much potential and y'all know my thoughts about Tristan um and if you don't then I don't like him those are my thoughts <laughs> it's currently 11 10 way past my bedtime I just finished editing a vlog that's actually from Memorial Day weekend and it's currently June 9th so this was like a week and a half ago well no 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 yeah well yes actually um so it's Wednesday this was like last Friday saturday through tuesday um it was like a long weekend and i don't know why i have just been like i guess i was like gone this past weekend and i just have not had the time or energy to sit down and edit finally got it done fell asleep doing it last night but we are done and we are about to go to bed good morning guys it's the next day it is like 6 30 in the morning um there was something i was going to share the other day but i didn't so when i was in birmingham i walked into Saks fifth avenue just to like pretend to be a rich girl you know for a minute knowing that i can't afford anything in there and i walked up to the perfume counter and i saw this perfume that i have seen all over tiktok and like so many influencers have and i was like i love perfume you guys know that like i I love smells um, if I'm gonna splurge on something it's gonna probably be like number one a handbag two jewelry three perfume like clothes and shoes and all that kind of fall down but like okay anyway the lady started talking to me about it and it's the Mason Francis it's like the Baccarat 540 I don't know there were two different kinds of it like one is the regular the ones like the strong one and she sprayed them on me and she gave me two little cards with both of them on it and they have smelt up my car for almost a week now like smell like they that she just sprayed them on there she also sprayed them on me um like one on each arm and I smelled so good that whole day and me thinking like oh my gosh they smell so good so many people have this I might actually buy it then I found out the price of the one that I like the most so like the smallest bottle of the regular is $300 but the regular like I think it's like six ounces or something bottle of the strong version $850 I believe $850 for a perfume if there are any rich men that would like to buy me this perfume that's fine but like I cannot imagine spending that much money on a bottle of perfume <laughs> um but I was thinking about it and I was like maybe like my 30th birthday or something I don't know which is crazy that that's like coming up in like six years <laughs> I might splurge on it if I ever started making like real 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 money because it just smells so good like every day I get in my car and I smell these and it just smells incredible. I had some like papers in my car the other day that I took out and I took them inside. They smell like this perfume just from being in here with it. And I have just never smelled anything that smells that good. It smells like almost like a hint of vanilla. But other than that, it just smells bougie. It smells so good. I just left the gym. Um, I'm super sweaty, but I decided to run by Smoothie King because I have not had it in a couple of weeks. And I just really needed it. Um, this is the strawberry pineapple metabolism boost it really does like fill you up and it's literally just so creamy and good and I'm obsessed with it it's my favorite thing ever um, so yeah it'll fill me up to like lunch yeah, also it is currently a little bit after five and I decided I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill again um, I just feel so bloated today I'm having like a girl day I don't feel good I'm like crampy but I feel like I don't know I just feel bloated so I put on like the slightest bit of BB cream and some of that pixie beauty cream blush it looks like I put a lot more on than I thought I did and some lip gloss um and then I put on some clothes this is like Fabletics outfit um and I'm just gonna go walk on the treadmill sometimes that just makes me feel good and I'm trying to get all of my steps in today or every day I'm trying to get like at least 10,000 but it's so hot outside that I physically cannot walk 10,000 steps outside because it's like 90 something degrees so we're gonna go to Planet Fitness and just walk because that's what I need right now. Guys, yeah, so I'm obviously back from the gym. I stayed there for like an hour um, and I'm so tired. So I came back, took 
a shower and then we had like a typical southern dinner we had like a chicken and squash and cabbage and macaroni um and i'm so full right now i'm in my bed um and it's only like what eight o'clock dog's new thing is like thinking she can just like hop up on the bed lately um We've gotten a little too close. Um, I don't know if you can even see the TV. It's kind of far. I have been hearing so many good things like on TikTok, on Twitter, from like people I know about Queen of the South um, on Netflix. Everyone talks about how good it is. So I think I'm about to start it and just see um, how it is. I honestly don't think I'm awake enough to watch too much tonight because I'm so sleepy. I'm probably going to go to bed in like an hour. Obviously, I don't even have my robe on correctly. I just have been like cuddled up. I was cold and I can't really move my blankets because my dog is sitting on my blankets. But also tonight was the Kardashian season finale. And y'all know if you know me, I'm such a Kardashian lover. I always had them from day one. I'll be honest, I have not watched this last season. Um, I've actually like talked about like I restarted from the beginning. I'm on season four now, but I haven't watched the final season or even like I don't think I watched last season either just because like like they moved it from Sunday to Thursday and I just don't really watch actual TV that much anymore so I think I'm gonna wait until they have it like on Hulu or something then I'm just gonna binge it and it just I'm really sad about it though because like I have loved the Kardashians since day one I've seen like every episode except for the past couple seasons but I'm ready to see like what they're doing next supposedly something with Disney on Hulu but we shall see so anyway I'm about to get more comfy and start this show see how it is it's currently 10 30 I think yeah 10 30 and I was only gonna watch one episode and go to bed but I have watched three and a half I'm about to have to stop it because I've got to go to bed but this show is so good 10 out of 10 recommend I will say very intense read like the descriptions before you watch um very graphic but it reminds me a little bit of like Ozark kind of like the vibe kind of like dark actiony but um I feel like it's gonna be a really good show um, I wish I would have caught on to it many years sooner, but um, very excited. Very excited about this one. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. So I barely slept last night. I got like six hours of sleep, maybe five and a half. I'm so glad it's Friday. I did not sleep good last night. I watched that show, and I didn't go to bed until like 11.30, and it's like 6.30 now, um, and I'm already dressed and ready. We're going to Planet Fitness this morning. Um, I really am not motivated to go. I really am tired. I could use a rest day. I might wait and do that tomorrow, but I just... I really enjoy just like getting out of my house is really the only thing like if I don't go to the gym Then my other option is probably to go to a coffee shop and get coffee Which I really don't need to do and so I'm just trying to like get in the habit of Waking up every day and going I feel like that's all I talk about but that really is all I do lately Another thing I did last night was I looked at apartments some more in Birmingham um, I really need to just go back up I'm going back actually in a few weeks to Birmingham and I really just need to go and look like inside of a bunch of apartments because I've always been the kind of person like if I see something and I kind of like it I'll just go ahead and get it um but when it comes to like an apartment you need to like take your time with it so if you live in the Birmingham area and you have recommendations let a girl know hey guys okay I look really rough I'm literally sitting in the dark at my desk it's two o'clock now I have been um on my computer my computer is just being so slow today um AT&T if you watch this can you fix your wi-fi it's two o'clock once again and I I went to Starbucks like an hour ago um, sometimes you just well, not even an hour ago it was like 30 minutes ago probably um, but I am I was in the mood where I just wanted like a couple sips and sometimes I just always get a venti this is a shaken espresso um, which is my personal fave currently and I really wanted soul caffeine but I didn't want to drive and I just am so tired today and so I just needed some caffeine but um, I think I'm about to uh, turn the TV back on I've been watching Queen of the South like in the background um, well actually I've watched like half an episode earlier so happy news tonight my mom and I are going to the movies I have been dying to go see Cruella um, I used to love 101 Dalmatians when I was little like that was one of my favorite movies and I just feel like the fashion and like everything about this movie just gets me so excited so I cannot wait to watch it so we're going tonight I think at like 7 30 and I have not had movie theater popcorn since December we did go see Wonder Woman 2 in theaters in December and it was I think it was like the day after Christmas um and I think that was the only time I've been to the movies in like over a year 
Okay, y'all, I just went on like a five minute rant and then I decided I need to like cut it down. But I kind of just wanted to chit chat with you guys. So it is after four right now. Um, it's almost the end of the work day on Friday and I finished all my work. So we're gonna go to the gym. And I kind of wanted to talk about that in a way because I have been going to the gym so much lately, but I want to tell y'all like about what it's kind of done for me in a different way than it has in the past. So you guys know, I have a video on my channel about it that I posted a few years ago about having body image issues and all of these different things that I've done dealt with over like my whole life pretty much um, and I used to go to the gym because every time I would go I would go in with the mindset that I like have to lose weight because I hate the way I look and over the last couple of months I've changed that mindset into I go to the gym because I have been working from home and I don't interact with other humans unless it's like zoom or you know whatever um, so the only time I leave my house has been to go to the gym and it has honestly kind of healed my relationship that I've had with the gym whether like Okay, so basically in high school, I was like a fit girl. I really was, I didn't think I was at the time, but then also college, my first couple of years I was. But then over the last two years of college, and then also when I moved to Ohio, um, I just did not take care of myself the way that I should have. And so I've kind of dealt with um, not loving myself to my fullest potential over the last couple of years. But over the last couple of months, I've gone into the gym with the mindset that this is gonna be more of a mental workout and just something about sweating and listening to your favorite music and even if you can't go to a gym right now like try going to a public park and just thinking about it as like healing your brain and just kind of remember something that I have to tell myself I saw a TikTok about this the other day that your body is the least interesting thing about you so if you're dealing with like negative body image thoughts and thinking that everybody else is thinking um like bad things about your body just know number one most people just think about themselves um number two like a lot of people can relate to that so again they're thinking about themselves and uh, number three your body literally is the least interesting thing interesting thing about you I just felt like i needed to share that but with like all of that being said like after i've been going to the gym for the past few months i have noticed the biggest difference in like muscles like i can lift so much more weight than i could like i've gotten stronger i really haven't lost weight as much but i don't weigh myself again it's an issue that i have with the scale um but i have gotten so much stronger i will say that um and i've noticed like my stamina has gotten better and it just i have more energy like not even just because of caffeine like i get excited to go now um because i like testing like my limits and stuff and just seeing my improvements every week and so yeah i've definitely gotten more muscular like my legs have gotten so strong lately again i feel like as long as you're doing it for yourself and no one else and just remembering that like no one is thinking about you when you're going to the gym that's like a thing i have to remind myself because i feel like i have to like walk my head down because i don't want to get judged but just know that a lot of people focus on themselves and then also your like your personality and who you are as a person is the most interesting thing about you and not what you look like and you're beautiful no matter what you look like and i just feel like i used to do these videos about body positivity and i haven't in a while and it's because i've struggled with that personally over the last few years but i do have a video about like dealing with these issues um i posted a Few years ago and i just really want to get back into that if you guys would be interested because it's definitely something that i've my whole life i felt like it's been my like calling to help other people that deal with that sorry my posture is really bad right now i'm trying to lean forward because my camera is kind of low um but yeah so i just put on a little bb cream before i go to the gym um just because i was looking rough and sometimes just wearing a little bit of makeup makes me feel better um but yeah so, whew, there's a fly. So we are gonna go work out, um, get our sweat on. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all that message because sometimes you forget how important it is to love yourself first. Because yeah, anyway, we're getting a little cheesy. Also, change of plans. It's almost seven now. I went to the gym, stayed there for like an hour, came back, took a shower. Um, and when I was in the shower, I just got so tired. Also, I'm really the only one that wants to go to the movies. Um, so I decided I'm just gonna wait and. And I just stay in tonight and I'm so hungry too like I had lunch at like 9 30 this morning because I was starving um which honestly that's what I do a lot of the time like I'm like I'm basically realizing that I'm having brunch every day because I eat so early seven now so I am really hungry I decided to door dash um some Mexican food because I was just craving Mexican food um like some chips and salsa and queso a fajita quesadilla I'm so excited so it'll be here in like 20 minutes I think but I'm waiting on that now but I just decided I it, the movie doesn't start till like 7 35 
So we'd probably be out of there at like 10 and I have just turned into an old lady in the past couple of months and I just am too tired to do anything. Also last weekend was a very busy weekend. Like I was in, I was like all over the place. I went to go see my friends um, like in Northern Alabama. So I just figured this weekend I'm gonna have like a chill Friday night. Um, and so once that gets here, I'm gonna like turn on a movie or something and just have like a really chill night in. It is now Saturday, it's almost noon. I stayed in the gym today for like an hour and a half. Um, I look like I'm wearing makeup because my face is so red. I worked out so hard. I did the stair climber for like the longest ever and I'm just exhausted. Um, you can see my hair is like soaking wet. I don't know how people can go days without washing their hair because mine literally looks like I just took a shower. Um, but we're about to take a shower. I also went and got my strawberry pineapple metabolism boost and it's so good. But I really need to stop this habit because it's so expensive. It's like $8 and something per smoothie and I've been getting it like three times a week as it's like 12 30 now and I just got ready I took a shower threw some clothes on like casual clothes and my plan today has been to do the thing that I've been putting off for months and that's going to my storage unit and going through every single piece of clothing I own and beyond also going through every single thing that I think I might want to sell like I used to do these huge yard sales and sell just so much stuff but since we moved we're in like a new subdivision and so like to have a yard sale you have to agree with everyone in the neighborhood about when you're gonna do that and I literally hate that. I tried when I was in Ohio to sell my stuff on Instagram and I sold a lot but the thing about that is you have to charge for shipping so you have to up the prices which I don't like doing and it's kind of like a hassle to just figure all of that stuff out. I'm more of an in-person kind of person um, but the thing about that is I can't really have an in-person yard sale and so when I did it on Instagram I literally did not make hardly any money because I actually paid more for the shipping than I was really charging compared to like what I was selling if that makes sense so I'm gonna try that again though um, but today I would just like to go through literally everything I own and decide what I need and what I don't want because ideally when I move I would like to kind of declutter everything I own like I would love to sell most of my clothes if not like 75 to 80 percent of them and then kind of start from the bottom and just keep basics you know like i have been so inspired from these girls on like youtube and tiktok that literally have like a color palette of clothing that they own that way everything they own matches each other so you can mix match a limited amount of clothing to make it look like you have more than you own also you guys know i love the office ladies podcast like it's literally my favorite i listen to it every single wednesday and this podcast i think I think it's been out for a minute but I just listened to it this week um this is the one with Brian Bob Gartner he's uh Kevin obviously and he has an interview with Steve Carell which you rarely find an interview with Steve Carell um and I've been listening to it like all morning off and on and it's so good because I never hear Steve Carell talk about being Michael and he has just been um talking about him so much in this episode it makes me want to cry so yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've just really been looking so rough this whole vlog, but it's whatever. Um, my body is so tired. It's 2.30 now. I literally laid in the bed for an hour earlier and just watched TikToks and was like, do I really wanna go through all my clothes today? But I feel like if I don't, I'm just gonna keep putting it off because I want to move. What, like I'll go ahead and tell y'all, I'm hoping to be moved by September, like the beginning of September. And it's already like halfway through June. So really only have like July and August to completely reinvent myself basically just figure out like what exactly I want my apartment to look like and all that good stuff so I currently am at soul caffeine I really don't need to get coffee today I really just wanted an iced latte and I wanted it from here even though it's a couple it's a little drive for me um and it's so hot outside y'all like you don't understand it is so hot once again I look like an egg but we're about to run in here and then go to my storage unit and I need some water I'm about to get a water some coffee it's gonna be good Okay, I got our water and then I got my coffee and they wrote have a nice day oh, Really makes me actually want to go have a nice day not even joking. I love little notes Also, I don't know if you can see my shoes. I forgot I had these shoes. Um, Daniel Carolyn I think posted these like I've had them for like two years now. This is a horrible angle I'm, like under my steering wheel right now I forgot I had these shoes and they're one of those pair of shoes where it's like man those were kind of ugly but <laughs> if you don't look at them for a long time, they're actually kind of cute, I think. Traffic has been just like insane. And as soon as like I'm back into Spanish 4, about to go to my storage unit, it starts raining again. 
Like, and now it's supposed to rain. Um, also, I've been jamming out to like throwback songs. Just the Girl by the Click Five. They used to be my jam, like in middle school. I don't know what it was. But anyway, um, do I, the question, go to my storage unit, try to maneuver through the rain, or do I just go back and like take a nap? Okay, y'all, it is so loud in here. It started storming as soon as I came in the door. I have so much stuff that there's absolutely no way I can move all of this alone. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Cooling down a little bit, but I think I'm gonna kinda use this time to just, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start actually. Like I have clothes in here that I have just like honestly never even really worn before because some things I bought right before the pandemic happened. But like all of these are just like boxes of things that I flat out need to get rid of. This is a bag of stuff that either I got for Christmas, like I got some like office games, some books, um, and then I was gonna like, thought I was gonna be moving like earlier this year, so I just went ahead and put them in here. Even though like I've been here quite a few times since living at home, I kinda just wanna take literally every piece of clothing to my house right now, um, so that way I can go through it. Like over here, for example, like this is a whole big thing of pajamas. Um, the socks that's super random but like things like this I don't want to be bringing with me to my new apartment because I'm going to try and be clutter free more pajamas and a lot of these are just so old um also over here this is my couch and a bunch of living room stuff like pillows and stuff on top of it my couch is actually something that I want to sell it's just not like comfortable enough for my standards of a couch so I'd like to get rid of that um and then like back here you can see i have all of just furniture pieces and stuff and they're all the mirrored stuff which i do plan on keeping because like i just i've loved it i've had literally had this stuff for like eight almost nine years now um and mirrored stuff just does not get old to me and that's my whole thing at christmas stuff if y'all know like i went hard with the christmas decor um but some things like this, like again, like Christmas gifts, like I got these blankets for Christmas and I thought I was going to be moving soon. So I was like, I don't want to put those in like in my room now. And then this is all like business casual kind of clothing that I just um, don't plan on wearing. So and th these things are just so heavy. I should have brought my mom. Okay, so it doesn't really look like it, but I took a whole bunch out. Actually, I took three boxes, technically four. I took one box that went up there that was falling apart and dumped the stuff into another box. Then I took this blanket to use it to drag the box to my car. Very smart if you're wondering on how to carry heavy boxes. You don't. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fit my shoes in my car because the boxes I have are like this size. And even though I have an SUV and I probably could, my car is like smaller than it actually looks. So I have this bag right here that's filled with like some clothes and then this bag that's filled with pajamas. And I'm just going to come back for the shoes another day um i'm literally pouring sweat this is also a bag of sweaters but i actually went through this like a month ago and these are sweaters that i am going to keep um there really is just like so much in here i could go through and sell back now do not judge what you're about to see um i kind of want to just sell literally like i mentioned everything i own but i'm gonna try and have an in-person yard sale in a few weeks maybe next week i don't know um but look so this is pretty much everything um crazy i try to like undo like go through every box these are three bags of actual long sleeve clothes that i did not go through i need to go through but over here this is a pile of stuff i'm probably actually going to keep um it's like some dresses some like businessy clothes some nice clothes but then over here we have so much so you guys know i was a campus rep for pink for two years before that i was on the campus team then i was an intern then i worked at pink so i have so many things from pink that it's honestly ridiculous but even in like pink victoria secret all that stuff but then also i interned for a judge one summer and got a bunch of like businessy clothes that i just don't wear and also a lot of this stuff is just like not um my style anymore um but it could be someone else's style you know like i just need to get rid of all of it so it's the easiest option is to have an in-person yard sale my mom has already talked to people in the neighborhood and like they're okay with actually us having in-person yard sales so i think that's the route i'm gonna go and then whatever i don't sell there i'm going to sell either instagram poshmark 
uh, Plato's Closet. I'm gonna figure it out. People that are like friends and stuff that I know would buy it um, or buy it like online, like on Instagram and stuff, but it's just, it gets so hard to keep up with like orders and stuff and I know that sounds crazy but like I'm not good at like that multitasking so when I have in-person yard sales like I'm not joking in the past I separated everything by size color type of clothing like I had jeans in one section I had athletic wear um I still have to go back and get all of my shoes like I mentioned um and then also I'm gonna sell my couch I'm gonna try and just sell as much stuff as I possibly can um but when I have yard sales like I try to keep it super organized so that way they know that like everything is well taken care of and it really is like it's in a pile right now but I do take care of my stuff um, also, you can see these boxes <laughs> um, fell apart as I was pulling them in. It like literally spilled all out in the front yard. Horrible. Um, but yeah. And also I have like random bags from Pink. Guys, so I have been editing this vlog and this vlog is so long so I do apologize. But I wanted to say that this is actually like a week and a half later. I had a yard sale and it was insanely successful. There's one thing about me. I can throw a yard sale. Like I made so much money from it. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying it to say. I had so many girls message me saying they wanted to know like my tips and tricks on like throwing these yard sales. And I can make a video if y'all are interested in me telling you because like if you have clothes that are just sitting in your closet right now not just clothes like home goods shoes accessories just random um decor pieces anything you have that you ooh, sorry <laughs> um anything that you have that you are not actively using on a regular basis it can probably sold, be sold to someone who can use that and I love throwing these yard sales because it makes me feel like I'm just like starting over because y'all know I love to buy things I love to shop I love to get things so I can't do that and not sell my old things so let me know if you want to know have like a video on how to throw a really success, successful yard sale because it's a lot of work like it's a lot of work like I was exhausted from it but you can do it it's a lot of work if you want a successful one like anybody can have a yard sale but if you want to make like money you have to put in the work anyway um that's the end of this vlog and we are gonna go get back into filming like more regular videos um because I have kind of taken the last month I've just been so busy and I have not filmed a lot so yeah you will see more videos soon but thank you for watching bye guys